Welcome to the MidiQuest Parent-Child Video Tutorial. Many of today's more sophistic sophisticated instruments use a hierarchical organization to their structure. That is, there are different levels to the instrument's organization, and usually only one of these levels is actually dedicated to creating the instrument's actual sound. Take the M1 here, for example. The patch bank and patches within the patch bank are what actually create the sound. However, you have a higher level called the combination, which is actually used to select one or more patches in order to create the sound you hear. Usually, uh, instruments that have a hierarchical organization are also instruments that are multi-tambral. Now, in these situations, MidiQuest has some special tools built in that provided they are implemented, and for most hierarchical instruments they will greatly ease the need for you to maintain the instrument's organization. MidiQuest does it essentially automatically for you. So, here are some of the things that MidiQuest will do. If you look at your combi bank, uh, one other thing to note, hierarchical organization features are controlled by the preferences. So you can have these either turned on or turned off using this bank edit option, use parent-child relations. Right now, it's turned on. So if you point the mouse to each of the patches, sorry, each of the combinations in your combination bank, and look in the lower left corner of the screen, you can see it says that uh, Panicala uses the following uh, patches, Pan Mallet, Angels, Universe, and all of the remainder are Universe as well. Film Score uses Choir, tubular, strings, and piano. So this gives you, you can point to any combination and quickly see which of the patches that con combination is using. Correspondingly, if you click on your patch bank, you'll notice that some of the patches or programs have a yellow marker in their upper right, upper right corner. What this yellow marker indicates is that this patch is currently being used by at least one combination. This is extremely useful if you're, say, looking for a location to add a new patch into your patch bank and you don't want to overwrite any patch that is currently being used by a combination. This gives you a quick reference. In addition, again, if you point to any patch here and look in the lower left corner, you can see that the piano patch is actually referenced by a number of different combinations. Those combinations being film score, bass and piano, big, piano voice, techno funk, string and piano, piano and EP1, and beauty. And again, you can point to any patch and it will list off the combinations that are using it. It's very handy to have. Now the other very nice thing that happens here is say we take piano and piano is being used by film score. Now say I want to reorganize the patches in this bank for whatever reason, I can say pick up piano and I'm going to drop it over the ooh ah patch. Now what this does, I currently have MidiQuest set up to swap patches, so piano has been placed in location 3 and ooh ah which was in location 3 has been moved to location 1. And you can see that here, the display has now been updated to show that Piano 1 is being used by multiple combinations. 
The correct combinations for piano are uh, displayed in the lower left hand corner. And if I actually go up and edit the film score parameter, you can now see that piano in slot four, which used to be in location one, is now listed in location three. So what MidiQuest has done, when you move that patch from location one to location three, it actually goes and looks in all of the combinations in the combination bank, finds any combination that is currently referencing the patches that you're moving and it actually updates all of the combinations to continue to reference the correct uh, patch or in this case program location. Now the other thing that MidiQuest will do is if you have I'm going to create a, uh, a new set here but it will work with an existing set as well. If you want to move a combination from your combination bank here to say you want to build an entirely new set with combinations and patches, you can simply drag whatever uh, combinations over that you want from your original set and place them in the new set. And if you look at your patch bank, you will see that MidiQuest has already moved over all of the patches that uh, each of the three combinations that you've brought over require in order to sound correctly. You may have noticed that it took a little bit of time for these yellow icons to come up after I'd come to the patch bank. The reason for this is that in order to determine what patches are being used by what combination, uh, what in, in terms of patches, which combinations that patch is being referenced by takes quite a bit of background processing. So this information will not pop up immediately. It will take some time of MidiQuest running background calculations to find the correct patches and make those references for you. And you'll see that if I uh, have a look at film score, all the patches were moved over. The patches are placed in, in new empty locations in the patch bank. So as a result, MidiQuest has also renumbered or re-referenced each of the program numbers in the combination. So the combination here is referencing patches 0, 1, 2, and 3, where if you go back and look at film score here, the references are to uh, I-23, I-45, I-27, and I-3. So, as hopefully you can see, this gives you a huge advantage in time savings and not having to worry that when you move patches around that MidiQuest will continue to reference the correct locations uh, in order for the program's uh, higher level uh, hierarchy to work. Now this will work in any instrument. It, it doesn't have to be just called combinations. Your instrument may refer to uh, Roland as frequently performances. Uh, Yamaha uses the terms uh, performance and multi and I think a couple of others. But the, the important part here is that if you have a hierarchical organization to the instrument in most cases, that instrument will also maintain all of these relationships for you. Thank you for viewing the parent-child relationship tutorial.